What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and Harry Potter creator JK Rowling is an excellent example of something that so many of us preach all the time. That it doesn't matter how woke you go. It does not matter how much you virtue signal, how much you push your politics. Eventually, you will do one thing and that one thing will be enough to get you canceled. That has happened before to JK Rowling and it is resurfacing with so much anger, death threats, vile things being said to her because of a simple opinion that she has. And this is all coming up again because of her recent book that she released, which there is controversy surrounding that, and also because Warner Brothers announced the Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy video game, and people were li really worried that she might be involved with it. Uh, but of course, let's take a look at some of the things, some of what is going on right now, simply because J.K. Rowling has one opinion that differs from the leftist SJW mob. Uh, Daily Dot social media editor Anna Marie asks why Harry Potter creator J.K. Rowling has not gotten jumped yet, wishes she gets punched in the face. And you see a bunch of people burning her books. Uh, when's the last time we saw people burning books? books. I seem to remember a time during World War II, but maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Daily Dot social media editor Anna Marie recently took to Twitter to question why J.K. Rowling has not been jumped and wished physical violence on her. And now I did see this. I don't know if she deleted this or protected it or blocked me. I, I don't know. I think she's probably protected her entire account at this point. Uh, this is what she says. I hope J.K. Rowling gets punched in the face today. I hope her nose breaks and it gushes all over her clothes. I hope her teeth get knocked out and she can't find them. Uh, very nice things to say about J.K. Rowling. Now, then she said she asked Brits, cis Briss to step it up and assault the violent transphobe for being too comfortable. Absolutely disgusting, right? Absolutely disgusting from this woman, a Daily Dot editor, who I'm sure she's going to remain the Daily Dot editor. And of course, we have this, uh, a new TikTok trend. It's not going to be a TikTok trend for a long RIP TikTok, at least here in this country, of people burning J.K. Rowling's books to protest her support for the concept of biological sex. Because we know, we can go back and we can look. We can look at what J.K. Rowling said, you know, all those months ago, back in June, right? People who menstruate, I'm sure the word used for these people, someone help me out, woman, wimpund, woman, opinion, create a more equal post-COVID-19 world for people who menstruate, right? She was saying that she believes that trans women are not actually biologically women. That's the statement she said. I don't know how you can really argue with biology and science, but again, you can't argue with some of these people. She has said over and over again that she supports trans rights, that she supports their you know, ability to believe whatever they want to believe and live however they want to live. She fully supports them. She just doesn't believe that they are biologically women. And that is enough. That one little difference of opinion is enough for these people to go absolutely insane. Look at Data Racer collects a series of tweets, death threats, sent to J.K. Rowling over her new book and video game. Radical activists and verified accounts are now bragging about their bullying. The media is inciting this behavior, and the media is. We just looked at a Daily Dot editor verified checkmark uh, saying that she wishes she got assaulted, right? But look at all these things. I'm not going to read all of them because it's probably going to trigger the algorithm. Uh, I want this woman dead. I'm genuinely going to burn her house down. Anyone want to help me do this to J.K. Rowling? I want to do this to J.K. Rowling. I'm not even kidding. We need to put this woman down. I'm going to do this to J.K. Rowling with my bare hands. F it. I'll put on a dress and do it myself. Right? This is what these people are saying. Over, <laughs> over a book? that came out and why are people freaking out about this book you may ask you may ask, whoa what was so bad in this book that people are burning all of their things why do they want to kill her right why is all of this happening well well uh, it, it may seem crazy to you but it's this right here this book right here robert galbraith which is her like pseudonym her pen name um as referenced by Jedward, the latest round of outrage directed towards Rowling is based on the appearance of a, quote, transvestite serial killer in her latest Carmen Strike novel. The detail was first brought to public attention during a review 
uh, asserting that the book's moral seems to be never trust a man in a dress. But of course, that's a spin job. That's not actually what it is. No, and as quoted by a journalist here, Nick Cohen, no honest person who takes the trouble to read it can see the novel as transphobic. Basically, the bottom line is that there is someone, the killer in this case, in order to disguise himself, wears a wig and a woman's coat. That is supposedly enough for them to bring up her transphobia, burn her books, and threaten to kill her. That's all it takes. But of course, like I said, it was more than just that because then a few days later, and thank you again to Data Racer, I will link his Twitter in the comments below. Um, I'll link his Twitter in the comments or in the details below so that you guys can give him a follow. Highly recommended. Great job as always. Gaming SJWs are freaking out trying to boycott the new Harry Potter game. J.K. Rowling says she already has your money and will help you burn her your Harry Potter merch. <laughs> Look at what this says. J.K. Rowling book burning videos are spreading like wildfire. Well, the fumes from the DVDs might be toxic and I still got your money. So by all means, borrow my lighter. Damn, it sounds like she's kind of had enough of this absolute garbage. Now, to be clear, I don't agree with J.K. Rowling's politics. I don't necessarily like her as a person. I don't like what she did to the Harry Potter universe by going and retroactively doing things to Virtue Signal, by saying that Dumbledore and Grindelwald were explicitly gay, uh, by saying, oh yeah, Hermione could be black, even when she said specifically she had a pale face. All of these things, I don't like what J.K. Rowling is doing as a as a, some sort of political activist, but the fact that she's being canceled over this is absolutely garbage, and it's been garbage for a while, and it's coming up again over this freaking uh, video game. J.K. Rowling, quote, not directly involved in creation of Hogwarts legacy game, Warner Brothers says. J.K. Rowling, this is a quote from Warner Brothers. They felt they had to come out and say this. J.K. Rowling is not directly involved in the creation of the game. However, her extraordinary body of writing is the foundation of all projects in the wizarding world, Warner Brothers says in, F in an FAQ. The company also notes that Hogwarts Legacy is not a new story from J.K. Rowling. So they're doing everything they can to distance themselves from the creator of the story of the video game that you are doing. And again, let's be very clear about this. J.K. Rowling is going to get a ton of royalties from this. This is her world that they are using. She is going to get money from this, whether they say that she's involved or not. So if you decide to not boycott this game because she didn't write the story of this, she's written all of the lore surrounding the world, and she's going to get royalties from you. So you're really fucking stupid if you decide that's enough to make you, oh, I can play this game. None of the money's going to go to J.K. Rowling. Yes, it is, in fact, going to go to her. But as we know, the media, <laughs> Kotaku, you can always rely on Kotaku. What's their headline look like? I think this one's uh, this one's from Polygon, which I'm not a big Polygon person, but that's pretty straightforward. That's the quote from Warner Brothers. Look at what Kotaku says. Transphobic creator J.K. Rowling not involved in new Harry Potter game. Just write up, labels her as transphobic. Um, there it is. That's Kotaku for you. Expect anything different from Kotaku. I suppose we probably shouldn't. And you can see that they tweeted it out as well. Uh, they are absolutely disgusting. Games journalists in general are just fucking disgusting people. But Kotaku usually takes the cake, takes the crown of all of them. Like I said, I don't agree with J.K. Rowling. I do, I do really enjoy the world of Harry Potter. I grew up reading these books. I was one of those people that when when the seventh book, Deathly Hallows, came out, I got it and I just read it cover to cover because I wanted to know how the story ended. Um, I really enjoy the world she created. Not a huge fan of the movies. I like them for what they are, but I, I always really enjoyed the books a lot more. I don't like what she's tried to do post post, uh, you know, retroactively to try to change the things she's written. Not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of her politics. But the idea that she has this one, not even a radical idea, she has this one idea about biology. That is enough for the rest of the woke mob to cancel her. It is never enough. You can never do enough to please these people. So stop trying. Everyone out there, stop trying to virtue signal. Stop trying to gain these woke points. It will not help you in the end. You will get canceled because they have to eat themselves. When there's nothing else to do, they will look inwards and eat themselves. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Make sure you smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? 
check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.